All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Remember to hit subscribe and also check us out on Instagram if you haven't already. As you can see, the fish room's coming along nicely. I do have to have that ugly hang on the back filter there for right now, but the Walterite is doing golden. Didn't look too hot after the move, but he's really starting to settle in now. Let's feed him so you guys can see him real quick. There he goes, look at that beast. Fins on him are just crazy. Cannot wait to get some Walter Eye females or grow the ones that I've got out for him, breed him in the future. But that's the fish room looking good. We've got the little 10 gallon there and we've just recently set up a 20 high. Got a Finex 24 seven light fixture and this is the scape that we've got right now. Really, really happy with it. Think it's gonna look brilliant. So we've got a few videos coming of that. Let me know what you think to that scape. 125 in the wall, looking fantastic. And that's what we've got going on in this part of the room. We've also got a little 10 gallon that we're gonna be looking at today as we just got some fish for it. So we're gonna be looking at how to easily acclimate freshwater fish if you just picked them up at your local pet store. All right, guys, so with this method of acclimation, you basically need four things. That's gonna be a bucket, a net, a cup. I'm using a solo cup. And then a container that the fish are actually gonna be put into. I've got these four, as you can see, nothing too crazy. But what you're gonna do first is temperature acclimate the fish and you wanna leave them in there for about 10, 15 minutes so they can start getting up to temperature. After that, you want to take the bag out of the tank and as you can see i've got myself some neon tetras that are eventually going to be going in the 20 high make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned for that one because that's going to be a really really cool build incredibly excited for that one so as you can see from the most part pet stores usually double bag the fish and that's just for safety if one bag breaks the other will kind of catch the water and hopefully catch the fish so you'll take that bag off and then undo the elastic band for the most part i just tend to lose patience with the elastic band so i just pop a hole in the bag and go from there at that point i'm going to put the water and the fish into the holding container that i just showed you so they can stay in there while we begin the acclimation process which for the most part is incredibly simple so once the fish are in the holding container all we're going to do is take some water out of the tank. Remember, the fish are completely used to the water's temperature right now, but they're not used to the water's parameters. It will take a long time for them to get used to the water's parameters, but if you do this and slowly add some water to the container, it enables them to get used to the water's parameters, pH, KH, all that good stuff, meaning they won't go into too much of a shock when you eventually put them in the tank. So all we're gonna do is do that and keep adding water for the next 20 to 30 minutes and all i do is add a little bit of water from the tank into the container every two or three minutes and another way to do this is obviously with an airline tubing but i do this when i haven't got airline tubing because right now i've used every single piece of airline tubing i've got to run the fish room so i need to get some more but this works well, especially for inexperienced fish keepers that have maybe just bought a filter, just bought a heater and a tank and they don't have the airline tubing. So this for them works just the same. And as you can see, all I'm doing here is just adding the water every so often. And like I said, this gets them more used to the water's parameters. So instead of taking them from an environment in the container, where for instance, the pH might be seven and then putting them straight into a tank where the pH is around seven, eight or something like that. You're slowly getting them used to the pH as you add the water from the tanks. So you take that pH from seven, two to seven, eight, nice and slowly instead of doing it all at once. After you've then added water for 20 to 30 minutes, you'll put a net over the bucket, drain the fish into the net and then add them straight to the tank. 
during this phase of the acclimation process, I always find it beneficial to let the fish swim out of the net themselves. That way they can get a good look at the environment before they feel comfortable enough to swim in. And for the most part, tetras seem to school. So the one that was left in the net saw all these buddies going away and they were like, yeah, nah, I'm leaving. So they're all now in the tank, seem to be looking comfortable. So let's take a look at them. So I hope you enjoyed that little look at the neons. Last thing we're gonna do as part of the acclimation process is turn the lights off, let the fish chill out a little bit. If you have enjoyed this video and you have enjoyed this little acclimating freshwater fish tip, let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit subscribe. There's the 125. We've got the planter tank coming that's gonna be a high-tech planter tank. So really really excited about that and if you haven't seen some of my other videos before make sure you check them out we've got an african cichlid show tank with some unbelievable fish like that star sapphire that's just starting to chip up cannot wait for him to grow we've got a full-on breeding operation going on in the actual fish room all african cichlids so make sure you take a look at that but for now thanks a lot for watching check out that clarity Ooh and we'll see you on the next one.